hello guys welcome to my channel and today is the day okay you guys see it right here we are going to go through my entire fragrance collection i know y'all have been asking for this video for a really really long time and i decided to just film it like this super casual i'm actually using my phone but i think the quality is still great because i'm doing it in 4k so here is where i store all of my fragrances i have it in this um ikea uh shelf that you can get the door separately and um stash your stuff in here definitely need a major declutter so i wanted to do this video now before i go ahead and do a declutter which i will probably upload for next year but um this is how i store it and yes yes i'm not gonna lie this is definitely excessive there's too much there is too much in here, but I promise you for the most part, they get used. And the ones that are not getting used, I am going to declutter them for sure. So let's start with this top row over here. You guys can see I have quite a few fragrance to bois scents that I absolutely love. I actually just received two of their new ones, which I will be reviewing very, very soon. But here's my little fragrance to bois collection. Milano, um, Oud Orange, and Santal Complet are my top three right now, especially this one. I've been using it a lot. It's just a gorgeous, cozy scent. Like, it's actually really, really beautiful. And I don't need to overspray it because it lasts really well on me and it projects nicely. The one that I do have to overspray is this one over here so i don't find it super long lasting but it is really really beautiful so that's my fragrance to bois i have some of my memo fragrances i'm actually missing one of them that's upstairs in my room but i have argentina which is nice but not my favorite and then i also have um Elia Dumel, Dumel which i really love it's very summery and beachy like to me very like honey-esque and back there, I have those two. Now, that one over there, I don't use that often, so I'm probably gonna declutter. I have my Creed Royal Princess Oud, which I really like, but I don't use that often. So I might get rid of it, I just don't know yet. And then, of course, we have my Dior Private Line of Fragrances. I definitely love these scents so much. Tobacolor is the newest addition to the collection. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, deep tobacco. We have Feb Delicioso, which was my first fragrance from the private line of Dior. And I hunted this down. If you're in Canada, you know how hard it was to get this scent, but I love it. It smells so delicious. It's like a vanilla, not vanilla. It's like a, um, a croissant. It's so delicious, very like cinnamon, warm, cozy. Then I have Diorama, which I really like. And this one, I don't think I've talked about it on my channel just yet. This is a beauty fruity scent. It's really gorgeous for summer. And I have these two small ones over here, which are nice date night scents. So those are my Dior private line. And then I have two from Amouage. I used to have, I think three or four, and I got rid of the other one. So Sunshine Woman. And then we have the newest one, which is Material Woman. And I love this one. It's a very, very unique, complex scent, but gorgeous for the winter. And I absolutely adore this bottle. Look at it. So beautiful. Okay, let's go on to the second row and have all of my parfums de marley in my second row here like i have the entire women's uh lineup from parfums de marley i love them all the two that i wear the least is darcy right over here i get too much patchouli from darcy and then this is meliora which is more of a fruity scent don't wear her that often it just doesn't like speak to me too too much but everything else i absolutely love like my delinas of course um oriana is a really beautiful fluffy sweet girly fun scent athalia is like my boss lady scent like if you've never tried athalia please do it it's so beautiful Cassili was one of my second fragrances from parfum molly it's very feminine very beautiful I love them all i do and then i have a um one from lancome this is like their private line this is called let's see this is fig 
uh, Figs de Argamas or something like that. This one is a really pretty green scent. It reminds me of Christmas and holidays. You guys see some more scents over there. Um, so I like this one for the holiday time. It reminds me of last year because I wore it a lot. Have my Kaoli fragrances over here. Let me move that one. I have pretty much all of them except for the new one, which is Eden. I really want to get it to try it out. I don't think it's going to be a complete love for me, but I want to try it. But I love Kaoli. They do gorgeous, gorgeous scents. Honestly, my favorites are uh, Deja Vu White Flower, gorgeous white floral scent. And then Vanilla, of course, is stunning. I also really love Invite Only. This is super, super sexy. So I like that one a lot. And overall, they just do really great fragrances have here my little coco mademoiselle this is the intense version which i prefer the bottle stunning stunning i honestly got it for the bottle more than the set to be honest but um i wore this quite a bit not last year the year before that i don't remember wearing this too much last year but there's coco i have all of my casa morati lineup over here my favorite is definitely oh that bottle's not secure the top lira that's my favorite scent it's so gorgeous and then we have some more from jeers off over here which is really pretty i love these two this is a really gorgeous unique gourmand very suave very light and this one is just rich like it smells super rich and then beside it are my pant halligans i have this tiny little bottle look at this so cute this is luna and this fragrance was created for princess diana which is really cool to find out it's a very soft, light, light floral scent, a bit musky. Impressa is the newest one that I added to my collection from Pant Halligan, and I'm obsessed with this scent. It is so beautiful and feminine, very suave, very light. And then I have some more. Let me move these two from Pent Halligan back here. So that is my little Pent Halligan collection. Um, I don't wear them too, too often. This one is really pretty, pretty Babylon. Pretty, no, it's intense. Let's be real. It's intense. And then this one here is another intense fragrance. So I do like that uh, Pen Halligan a lot. They have beautiful scents. And then these are two from Gotel. And uh, these were introduced to me very recently. And I really like this brand. They just make likable scents. Like they're very crowd pleasing, but a little bit more complex. So these two are really beautiful. I think this is my favorite out of the two, to be honest. So moving on, we have, of course, I've talked you guys. I've talked your ears off on this fragrance over here. I think it's just such a beautiful scent. And I'm kind of finding out that I actually like iris more than i thought i did honestly this is gorgeous it's very like chocolatey and warm a little powdery beautiful very intense a little goes a long way don't overspray it at least i can't or i get a headache but gorgeous brand honestly gorgeous brand of course we have my beautiful angelique noir from guerlain but i recently got this stunning bottle like a full-size bottle and now i have this one so i might gift this to someone because I think this is a bit excessive having these two here. So I love, you guys know that I love Angelique Noir so much. I have a few from um, Diptyque. Oduel is definitely my favorite. My favorite. And then we have some back here. I don't use this that often. It is pretty, but more for summertime. And that one back there, that's a really pretty one too. Um, with Diptyque, I do a lot of layering with them, except for a Dwell, which is this one here. I wear it on its own and I'm good to go. So yeah, I don't really organize my fragrances by like brands because they're kind of all over the place sometimes as I pick them up and use them. So that's why some of them are categorized, but some are just like scattered everywhere. So as you guys can see, my Killian collection has definitely grown. I have quite a few of them. The newest one is A Kiss from a Rose. Beautiful green rosy scent. It's sharp. It's warm. Really, really like that one. Of course, Ruling in Love. Do I need to say more? I think everybody knows how I feel about this scent. Um, we have Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. I wore so much of it when I got it. Look at the dent that I put on that. Yeah, I wore a lot. Even Rolling in Love, there's a big dent already on this one. Beautiful. We have Intoxicated, which honestly, 
I don't know if it's going to be a keeper. I feel like every time I go to wear it, I really have to think about it. And I hate when I have fragrances where I have to think so hard. Oh, will it go with what I'm wearing? Will it go with where I'm going? So this one's kind of like an okay. I just don't know. It might be too intense for me. We have Woman in Gold, which started off my Killian collection. And I love this one. And I wore quite a bit of it too. So that's Killian. And then we have some Mancera, which I don't have many. Honestly, I only have three for Mancera. I have Instant Crush and then Rosie's Vanille, which I honestly don't wear too much of. But I will keep them in my collection because sometimes I do feel like wearing it. We have my... Inisiu fragrances over here. I think this is such a gorgeous brand. Beautiful packaging, beautiful scents. Very complex, but absolutely stunning. And the newest one that I added was um, Oud for Greatness. This is a very deep, oudy scent, but not a dirty oud, I find. Very unisex for sure, so you gotta be bold with it. And then this one is another gorgeous one right here. This is Rehab Oh. My God, this is absolutely stunning. This is stunning. It's very, very unique, actually. It's very clean and like musky, but super unique. And then I have a few scattered over here. We have Blondin. It is a vanilla-based fragrance. Ylang in Gold, beautiful. We have my Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. I love this one for date night. This is stunning. If you love vanillas and you want something unique, Oud Wa Vanilla. Whew. Get this. Get this. It's so gorgeous. I got that last year. We have this fragrance over here, which I honestly don't wear that often to be completely transparent. Same with this. I never wear this. I don't know why it's here. I'm actually just going to remove it right now because it's definitely not a keeper. And then from the Guerlain collection, I have um, this one here, which is an elegant, rosy, floral fragrance. Very, very elegant. I love that one too. So that is it for this row over here. And now let's go on to the next row. I probably won't go through all of them because it might take too long in this video. <laughs> I'm going pretty fast because I don't want the video to be super long. We have some Raja Parfums over here. These three gorgeous bottles and I think I have them more for the bottles but I don't find myself wearing them that much they were gifted to me to be really honest with you guys um and it's always such a pleasure to be gifted fragrances of this you know caliber like Roger Perfumes is like huge right um so we have Herod's Pour Femme over here don't know how I feel about that one we have this one which is very vintagey so I don't wear it that much um Enigma oh I thought it was a different one. Enigma, I definitely love. I love, 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 love. I haven't worn it in a while because I haven't gone to anything that special. And this is like a special fragrance. Okay, you do not wear this to be in your car driving around. You don't wear this to go to the grocery store. You wear this to make an impression. Gorgeous, okay? And then we have Reckless, which I really, really love this scent. It's beautiful. Very creamy. Very creamy and feminine. Of course, we have my MFKs, which, you know, I love my MFKs. Oud Satin Mood. Of course, my one and only Baccarat Rouge. Love wearing the scent so much. I already need a backup. I really, really do. Gentle Fluidity Gold, another scent that I wore a lot this summer. And um, we have Grand Soir, which I was really surprised by this scent. I thought I was going to love it based on reviews. And I find this very masculine on me. Like, it's just too masculine. So... I might just put this upstairs in my husband's pile, but for myself, I never, ever wear it. And that one is Oud Silk Mood, which I don't wear. It's too intense. And then we have Lancome's Oud Bouquet back here. Gorgeous, jammy rose. And it's pretty full because I don't wear a ton of it. I just wear very little amount. It's very intense for me. We have some Byredo. You guys know my collection has grown quite a bit with Byredo. Quite a bit, of course, we have MFK again here. I'm just going to pop that there. Um, by Rado, let's talk about this real quick. This collection has grown a lot. A lot, okay? Mojave Ghost, I honestly got this because of the hype. I really did. I'm going to be completely honest. It was the hype. The bottle, I just wanted it for Instagram pictures. <laughs> but the scent is very wearable. 
probably in the summertime, springtime, then yeah, but wintertime, not really. Rose of No Man's Land surprised me. I love the scent so much. It's very elegant. It's a floral based scent for sure. Bal d'Afrique, gorgeous. It was my first Byredo fragrance. Look at the dent. Love this one. I get a lot of compliments with this one. Mixed Emotions, haven't played with it too often and also 11th hour these are the newest one that i really really need to play around with and see how i feel about it i like them but i don't think they're a love just yet but ah oh, these bottles are so beautiful we have bdk i only have two from bdk which is rouge smoking and Passy Soir, which I talk about so much. I wore this a ton during the summer. I love it. And then we have another Mancera, which is Aoud Orchid. Don't use it that often. I like the scent, got it, and then it's just been at the back for the longest time. Of course, we have my collection from the Replica line from Maison Margiela. And I love this brand. They have beautiful scents. This one is my most worn which is whispers in the library i wore, wore so much of it like look at that gorgeous gorgeous um this one i finished it up completely which is bubble bath i use this actually more for my sheets in my room every single day i would spray my room and it smelled so so good so i'm probably gonna get another one of these what else did i wear a lot of we have jazz club which honestly i didn't wear this much i bought it like this super surprised by how manly this is <laughs> I got this because it was so hyped up and I find this very masculine, like very, very smoky. So I do not wear it. Um, the newest one is Matcha Meditation. I don't wear that often, but I really want to play with it. So I have to put this in the forefront. Of course, we have the very popular lipstick on. This is very old. Like the juice, I mean, is very old. And so is the fragrance. It's beautiful. It's a very lipsticky, warm kind of tonka bean scent. I love that one a lot. Um, what else do we have here? Of course, by the fireplace, we have Autumn Vibes. Oh, this is the newest one, Autumn Vibes. I like this one. I was surprised by how much I like it, but I really, really like it. And then we have Beach Walk. Love this one for the summertime a lot. So that is my little replica. And then over here, we have Atelier de Des Ors, Loon Feline. Um, I still don't love this one. I went on the hype a bandwagon that's why i got it everyone was hyping it up and then when i purchased this myself which was definitely expensive when it got to canada this was just a little bit of a surprise like there's this very like green medicinal vibe to it that just is not working with me so i still have it in my collection but i don't know if it's gonna stay don't know just yet we have Killian's Angel Share. I love this one. I actually pulled it out this week and I've been wearing it a lot. We have my Carter Barcelona fragrances over here. Beautiful brand, beautiful scents, very underrated. Here is my beautiful Coco Chanel Coco Eau de Parfum. <laughs> I love this bottle. This bottle is stunning and I really like this fragrance. This is like whenever and when I want to smell very ladylike, very vintagey. I grabbed this one. It is beautiful. We have my B layered fragrances. I have the entire B layered collection. Like I really do like B layered. I still wear them quite a bit. But I, but as you guys can see, my collection is large, so <laughs> it's hard to stick to one brand. But um, yeah, I have First Kiss, just a few caramel overdose. We have Prime Patchouli. Um, F U C K Me, Forbidden Jasmine, and then back there we have Vanilla Dreams, which is a beautiful vanilla. And these are the ones that I wear the most out of my entire lineup from Be Layered, but they have other really gorgeous ones. And then we have two from the private line of YSL. If you've never tried the private line, do yourself a favor and try it out. It's actually really beautiful. These two are my favorite over here. These are the Aqua Allegoria fragrances from Guerlain. I'm going to remove all of them. I don't wear them ever. Like they're all pretty much brand new and yeah, I'm just I'm just not into them to be completely honest. This is from Armani and I wore this fragrance so much. Like look at the dent. Oh my goodness. Love this one. Love this one and will definitely repurchase for next year. And then my Creed event is for her. I mean, if you've been on this channel for at least a year, you know that this is like 
one of my favorites of all time. I love this scent so much. It's such a luxe, sophisticated, fruity floral. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We have some Atelier Cologne over here. Uh, we got some Love Osmantis. We have a few. I don't wear them that often, so I don't know if I'm going to keep them, but these two I wear quite a lot. These two over here are my favorites. Suntal Cardamom. Beautiful, delicious scent over here. Look at this. I have Miami Glow. I don't wear this fragrance anymore, but I like to smell it because this is what I wore on my wedding day. Isn't that funny? <laughs> That's what I wore. And then I have my Tom Fords over here. I actually just removed two to go upstairs for my husband, which is... What are the two that I removed? I removed uh, Effing Fabulous and then ombre leather so i'm gonna give that one those two to my husband because i don't wear them and they're too masculine so i have obviously my black orchids over here we have oops we have noir pour femme we have santal blush which i love i'll do a little bit of a close-up here lost cherry vanille fatale rose prick this beautiful bottle bitty bitter peach um, of course, tobacco vanille, like this is me in a bottle right here, tobacco vanille. And then of course, I love my um, Soleil Blanc, which is a tiny little bottle. Absolutely love this scent so much. It's stunning, 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 stunning. Okay, on to the next row. Hopefully the lighting is good. We have a ton of my designer fragrances over here. We do have a niche one here, which is Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, a super dose. Love this one. Love it. Get it. Okay? Get it. So as you guys can see, we got a ton. We actually have two of the Navitas perfumes in collaboration with Big Beard Business. We have my YSLs, Lib Intense, and then the original one. Really love these. We have the Flower Bombs and the Flankers. Product Candy Night. Love this scent so much. It's beautiful, chocolatey. Um, Malin and Getz. This is dark rum, another really pretty scent. We have all of my Givenchy Linter D fragrances with, of course, their flankers. I love that lineup so much. This oldie from Givenchy, which is Organza in Descent, it's like it's a very vintage, sensual vanilla scent, like sensual. This reminds me of bedroom vibes. It really does give me bedroom vibes. Over here, we have all of my um, Miss Dior's and their flankers. I have the original one, which is just a tiny little bit. Look at that. This was the original one. I really like it. And then they switched them up a little bit and had some flankers. So these are like super sweet floral fragrances. And then I have the Dior Poison Girl. I removed Hypnotic Poison just because I don't wear it. I have my Guerlain, um, one Guerlain right here. And then Prada, um, La Femme, which I love. I talked about it so much for like a whole year. And then I decided to get the Intense and I wasn't impressed. Like a lot of you guys told me to get the Intense, but this is still the bomb. This is still the best. It's so luxurious. I love this one. But the Intense, mm, I don't know. I'm not feeling it that much. Of course, we have... Lancome back here we have Edo, we have La Via Belle, but I like Eclat and then Flowers and Flowers. And this is the newest one, which is Aura. I'm gonna keep it and see if I like it for like the springtime or something. And then we have my Mugler right here, Angel Muse. Love that one. And we have Commodity Gold. Love this scent, especially for layering. Try it out. I have a video on commodity coming very, very soon. We have all of my floral street fragrances over here. Highly underrated brand. Definitely check them out. If you like the replica um, lineup, you're going to like the way that they do their fragrances too. Like the stories really vibe with the actual scents. Love it, okay? We have Twilly Dermes. Love this one so much too. I haven't worn this in forever. Okay, I'm going to put it up here so I remember to wear it. And then we have Girl of Now, which is a beautiful, warm, nutty scent. All of my seeds from Giorgio Armani. Over here, we have the only one from Dolce & Gabbana. Really beautiful scent. I've worn a ton of it. 
of course my carolina herrera good girls i have the original leisure and i forget this one which flanker this one is the sparkly shoe i'm probably not going to keep it my favorite are just the original and leisure i don't need all the other flankers to be honest and then we have over here from ysl i don't really wear this to be honest so i don't know if i'll keep it and then we are down here let me just get myself situated um <laughs> So we have more designers over here. This is beautiful. This is from Prada. It's part of their private collection and it is a really nice almond scent. And it's like a very bitter almond type of fragrance. Super, super unique, like very unique. Love that one. We have another B layered one. This is Audacity. We have my, oh my God, I talked about this fragrance so much, so much. I love it and I have a backup too right there flora botanica another favorite for spring and summer ebony woods from zara in collaboration with joe malone it's beautiful sophia from sophia vergara this is from kkw fragrances of course this over here daisy also intense i wore this too many times like too many times i love it chloe nomad another Oh, another favorite. Love this one so much. This, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I think I decluttered it and then brought it back. I don't know what's wrong with me, but this is, this is just an okay fragrance. This is Burberry Her Intense. I really, really like this scent. I really like it. I don't wear it that often, but I really like it. And then we have Valentino, and I don't wear this that much. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Elisab La Perfume. It's a really beautiful, elegant, floral scent that I like for those days that I want to smell very boss-like, feminine, elegant. My Way, Love, Nina Ricci Lex Days. This is stunning sexy sexy in a bottle absolute sexy we have shots that i wear a lot during the summertime of course we have black opium just the original one and this is just an older bottle that i have this was my first black opium i always keep the bottle and then this is the extreme that just came out or is it intense one of the two um that just came out i like the scent but it's not it just doesn't last on me like it really doesn't last on me so that's really disappointing but i'm still gonna keep her maybe i can layer it with the original one and see what i get so we have a few more over here we have the zara one. Oh, this is one that i haven't worn that much but i really wanted to get my hands on it's been discontinued it's from sarah jessica parker stash and it reminds me of by the fireplace with mixed with a little jazz club that's the scent that i get we have alien goddess we have another scent over here from mugler of course my c fiore love this one so much lancome this is beautiful if you've never tried burberry um my burberry black try it it's such a sexy date night scent i love this one a lot we have La Belle, which I really didn't wear that much this year. Hmm, surprisingly, I don't know why. I just didn't. Um, over here, this one, we have J'adore. I have a lot, a little bit of it in my, in my bottle right there. I used to wear that quite a bit. And this one is from Way. It's really pretty for the summertime. Of course, Mugler, again, love this one for summertime. Very refreshing, mood uplifting. And then these are my last ones down here. So I still have these. I, I barely touch these fragrances. Like this one over here, Chloe, I don't touch anymore, but they have sentimental values to me, so I keep them for sure. Same with this fragrance here. It reminds me of my mom because she got it for me. This one's an old one too. I don't wear it that often, but it reminds me of my mom. And then here I have a bunch of samples that I keep when I want to try fragrances and see what I'm into, what I want to get. We have some Le Labo. We have a bunch of different fragrances in there. So yeah, this is pretty much my entire fragrance collection. Um, I know so many of you guys, oh, sorry about that. I know so many of you guys wanted to see the entire collection and this is it. Excessive? Absolutely. A regular schmegler person doesn't need this fragrance, all of these fragrances, but I know regular schmegler people that have this type of collection or even bigger. So it's a passion. I mean, it's a collection. Some people collect handbags. I collect fragrances and sometimes handbags, but... <laughs> 
here's my collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today i can't wait to hear your comments and i will see you on the next one ciao